I'm Kate and I am the dog mom behind Willow plus Arlo and on our channel we talk about all the dog things. All right, so we're gonna be talking about our five favorite natural dog chews today. I have Willow up here with me. Arlo's gone to lie on the floor because he overheats. But these chews are amazing. They're great for older dogs. Willow's six and a half, and they're also great for puppies. Arlo is three months old now, and they both love them. I don't ever like to leave them unattended with these chews though, so I won't leave them in the crate if I am not around. Um, but yeah, both dogs absolutely love them and they're really good for those days where maybe it's not great weather outside and you want to give your dog something to do. This keeps them occupied and help chewing helps with their mental stimulation. So yeah, they're awesome. Willow wants one right now. What should we start with? We're going to start with the ones that get devoured the fastest and then we'll work up to number five, which will be the longer lasting chews. So let's get started. All right, so number one on our list are bully sticks. Uh, my dogs love these. I have to say these are probably the favorite, although the next one is also uh, very high valued, but these, they get through faster. So they're still much longer than like an average treat. Uh, but they definitely get through them quite quickly. Are you getting into the treat bag? Willow, you have to wait. Do you want a bully stick? Do you? Yeah. Oh yeah. So I really like this company, Bully Bunches, because they are Canadian and we live in Canada, but you can also purchase them in the States, I believe. Uh, they don't source everything from Canada and the US, but I'm comfortable with the countries that they do source from, and they are very reasonably priced. And the fact that I can get them on Amazon, uh, they're a win from us, and also the dogs love them. Arlo's up here now with his little bully stick. Yeah, you love So one thing I just wanted to mention with bully sticks is I'm with them, right? Like sitting right with them. So I don't mind them having it and it's a brand new one. But this is a little device and you can get a few different ones. And this one fits these bully sticks well, but you can see the little nub at the end. You don't want your dog to swallow this hole. So putting the bully stick in here, it just keeps uh, it's secure and that way when your dog gets to the end of their chew, you can just take this out and discard it because we don't want them choking on that. The great thing about bully sticks though, if they do happen to swallow it, it is highly digestible. So yeah, you shouldn't have a problem if they do swallow it and they don't choke. I realized that, so Willow's never really swallowed any of these but Arlo did and it scared me so I looked into the little holders but yeah I definitely recommend these it just makes it safer. So our next chew is the collagen sticks. Now these are really similar to bully sticks they definitely get through these pretty quickly. I was hoping that they would take a little longer but I feel like they're around the same time and yeah, so call it the collagen sticks are made from the under layers of the animal skin. So it's much more digestible than rawhide, which is made from the outer layers of skin. And it's really good for your dog's joints. So definitely look into the collagen sticks. This one is from a brand called Hero. It's available here in Canada. Um, I'm not sure if it's available in the States as well, but I can definitely leave that info for you in the information box below. Uh, yeah, so number two on our list is the collagen sticks. Okay, so next on our list is the Icelandic lamb horns. Now, these are so awesome. They are super long lasting. Uh, they takes them a while to get through this. I was really impressed. 
This one is like half chewed on, so it doesn't look full anymore, but it was like about this big. So they've been working on this one. Now the only thing with these guys is they are quite smelly. If I walk into the room and one of the dogs is chewing it, like I will smell it right away. I don't find it that offensive and it does dissipate with time. So as long as they're not chewing it, once it's not soggy anymore and it kind of dries out, the scent goes away. So yeah, I love these. This one I do tend to leave out when I leave the house. Willow sometimes will, will chew on it, but I'm not too worried about leaving her with this one. Um, yeah, she'll, she'll usually sleep when I'm out anyways. So, all right. Yeah. So number three was the Icelandic lamb horn. All right. So number four on the list is the Himalayan yak chew. Um, this one is also made by Bully Bunches. They are really good. Some of the Himalayan chews I find are a lot more brittle and they kind of break off into little pieces. I don't find that that happens with this brand. So I tend to just stick with them. Um, these guys, this one had two in a pack. They have been chewed already. One of them more than the other, but they are really long lasting. Oh, did you want that? Yeah. They're really long lasting. Um, I would say even a little bit more than the lamb horn, but um, they're pretty close, those two. They are great because they don't have much of an odor. So whenever the dogs are chewing these, like I can't really smell them. They're, they're probably the least offensive of all, except for the last one. That one definitely is the, the least in terms of scent. But yeah, these are fantastic. They're made from cheese. Well, milk, it's like a milk culture. And yeah, the dogs love them. The only thing I would caution with this is if your dog maybe had like an allergy, a lactose allergy, just um, yeah, like watch them if they're, they're chewing this because it may cause some sensitivities in that area. The dogs were very confused when I gathered up all of their chews today. They we're not happy about it. So I think they're, they're pretty content now that they have all of them in one place. All right, so last up is the antler. And I know some people are a little weary of these because they can chip your dog's teeth because they are very hard. But I always buy the one that is cut so the marrow, the part that the dogs really like is like this inside part and it's a lot softer. So I always buy the ones that are cut and we've never had a problem with a broken tooth uh, getting them this way. So, and then they really get access to the part that they love and these take a while for them to chew through. This is definitely the longest lasting chew and also the least stinky. So when they're chewing this, like I literally can can't smell it at all. Did you drop your chew? Oh, dear. Yeah, so Arlo's a puppy and of course he is chewing everything right now. He just wants to be chewing all the time. And these chews have really helped. He really hasn't chewed much of anything that he's not supposed to. Uh, we've had a couple incidences, but having these around, oh my. Did he try and get your bully stick? Oh dear. But yeah, having these around, um, it's just, it's awesome because he always has something that he'd like to go to rather than chewing furniture and um, other things that he shouldn't. If you guys wanna hang out with us some more, feel free to click the video over here and we will see you next time. Bye.